This is our cistern, our inner well, the thing that God breathed into, poured into his spirit. It's supposed to stay full. When God poured his spirit into us, we became full. Paul is saying, don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the spirit. In the Greek, that term means be being filled. Keep on being filled. Why? Because what he's saying is that when you keep getting filled with the Spirit, what happens? It overflows, right? It overflows. Remember what Solomon said in Proverbs 5, to let your fountain, what? Overflow into the streets, right? Now listen, listen, listen. If you're not constantly being filled, if you're not constantly overflowing, what's going to happen? You're just going to stay full. When you get filled with the Spirit, you're full. You stay full. You don't lose Spirit. You stay full and you keep getting filled because God wants you to be constantly overflowing. He wants you to live the kind of life where you're constantly overflowing because that's how you make an impact on other people's lives, when you're constantly being overflowed. But if you're not being overflowed, that's you. You're full. But here, here, that's your basic design, to be full all the time. That scripture to be filled with the Spirit doesn't mean to start from empty and get filled up. It means to start from full and overflow. Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay, all right, now, uh, this is gonna be a little tricky, Johanna. All right, let's, okay. So, this is a, stay right there. This is a whole person. Now just imagine, this is full. This is our basic design. This is how God created us to be. I'm going to put this picture right here. It is a picture, but I said picture because I, I really mean picture. It is a picture of who we are. It's a pitcher of water, P-I-T-C-H-E-R. I did go to English class, but it's also a picture, P-I-C-T-U-R-E, I can spell, of who we are. That's us. Okay, now, here's the problem. There are a lot of us who are living like this. of us who are living like that. We're leaking. So we come to church to get filled up. Ah, oh, but we're leaking. So we got to come back to church next Sunday, get filled up. Ah, oh, but we're still leaking. So we got to keep coming to get filled up just to get to where we're supposed to be and never getting there and staying there because there's something wrong with us. There's a hole in us. Our fountain is broken. Our cistern is broken. And when your cistern is broken, you can never get full. 